dancer, choreographer and actor Lindsay Kemp was an acclaimed performer and mime artist whose avant-garde style and creative influence shaped modern popular culture. I never walked. I always danced. I found dancing much more pleasurable than walking. Growing up in the northeast of England, Kemp began performing at a young age, entertaining guests in full makeup from the kitchen table at home. We put on shows much inspired by the films we'd seen. After studying mime with Marcel Marceau, Kemp went on to form his own dance company in the early 60s, performing in theatres across London's West End. Kemp met the young David Bowie in London in the early 1970s before Bowie's career began. The pair soon became lovers. He was certainly a multifaceted a genius of a creature, but I did show him how to do it. With Kemp mentoring Bowie, shaping his look and performance, and collaborating on the Ziggy Stardust productions. The strip clubs of London Soho provided the backdrop for productions of Lindsay Kemp Minds His Own Business. It's all part of, uh, of my world of uh, entertainment. In addition to his many stage performances, Kemp also delivered a variety of supporting roles in film. In the 1973 British horror film The Wicker Man, Kemp plays an innkeeper in a town that practices pagan rituals. Kemp then appeared alongside Joan Collins in the 1974 film adaption of The Stud. He also collaborated with Kate Bush, teaching her to dance and perform. Once Kate actually started dancing, she was a wild thing. Bush dedicated her 1978 release, Moving, to Kemp, who inspired the song. It was a very moving experience because I didn't even know that, she, you know that she, she was a singer. And later, the pair collaborated on Kate's short film, The Line, The Cross and The Curve. In 1985, Kemp scored his iconic role in a production of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, playing Puck, a mischievous fairy. It feels very much like, uh, like a dream. In 1998, he also played a pantomime dame in Todd Haynes' production, Velvet Goldmine. It'll grow on you and all that sort of stuff. Most recently, he appeared in the 2017 documentary, Bash Soho, chronicling the loss of London's iconic bohemian cultural heart. The heart had been ripped out. In the months before his death in 2018, Kemp was rehearsing for a new tour and writing his memoirs, but he gave one last public performance, performing as part of the multimedia live arts installation in Manchester. The hardest goodbye I'll ever say. Well, that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch our daily bulletins throughout the week at Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.